Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? I trust that you are doing fine. I decided to shoot this video today outside. We had uh, all day very nice sunshine after uh, two days of snowing. But uh, this afternoon they start again uh, spraying the skies. Now already they have covered the, the sun. Always they follow the sun, the sun path, eh? they're covering it. Anyway, I decided to shoot uh, this video. Oops to talk a little bit about uh, uh, 5G and 60 gigahertz what's the link of the 60 gigahertz and the impact uh, why they are using it and what is the impact in our actually health but before uh, talking about that uh, uh, as you probably know some of you and if you don't know okay now you will know uh, 5G it's a different technology than the 4G 1, 2, 3, 4G okay where we had the antennas and then they are emitting the signal in a wide range and then if you are here or if you are 100 meters further down still you can get the signal uh, from this wide um, uh, range of uh, coverage the 5G is completely different the 5G is beam forming so it's a narrow beam which is steerable the same antenna with the elements that they have uh, uh, they can steer the beam and if you are here, now it's steering here, if you move as you are moving, or it's uh, steering, it's following your device, or it can follow you as well if they are targeting uh, you. And at the same time, uh, it's emitting uh, one beam here, because you are here, it's emitting another beam there, another beam there, and all of them, as I mentioned, because they can uh, it's just beam forming and steer beaming, beam steering uh, uh, technology, so they can... Um, steer it different ways so it's not the same as the previous generation of, of uh, mobile phones now the a little bit of telecommunication with every emission specific uh, frequency for example radio okay radio it's emitting one station is emitting a 93.7 you cannot have another station in the same area emitting the same frequency because it's going to overlap okay you, your radio when it's tuning in this specific frequency you're going to listen to both stations even if they have a small difference in the frequency let's say 93.8 or 93.6 still if your receiver your radio does not have proper filtering to fine tune to the specific frequency it will have interference from the other station so the signal from the neighbor station it will overlap your signal and this is an issue that's happening with all the all the emissions because of the harmonics as well etc etc and they try to solve it through filters and, uh, and the hardware uh, solutions which all fine okay now when it's coming to 5g of course they have similar issues a little bit uh, different uh, um, it's a little bit different though because already as i mentioned it's steer beaming uh, so it's narrow beaming but they do have this issue they cannot have in the same area emit everybody in the same frequency but when it's coming to the 60 gigahertz frequency range where the 5g can go there it's not only there they're not emitting all the time there but it can go there and they are emitting as well already there in some in some cases when they're emitting 60 gigahertz what's happening as you can see in the link in the in this uh, probably i'm overlapping now uh, with my screen with my blog the study where it shows that when the oxygen absorbs the 60 gigahertz what does it mean for the signal it means that okay i'm emitting this direction the molecules of oxygen in this direction they will be absorbed uh, they will absorb my signal and will transfer only here so if another station is emitting 60 gigahertz in the same area let's say 10 meters away from me still he can use the same frequency 60 gigahertz doesn't have to have a different equipment or to tune it different 60.01 let's say but the 60 gigahertz they can be multiple carriers multiple operators in the same area and operating at the 60 gig uh, gigahertz frequency without overlapping each other they cannot go far away unless they have repeaters the antennas as we know with uh, this uh, level of frequencies the wavelength but uh, they operate in the same area multiple carriers 60 gigahertz this is a big advantage for the industry but what's happening now to the oxygen that absorbs this 60 gigahertz 
hmm, this is the interesting part and what is really the scary part and what make, uh, should make everybody uh, upset and worry and uh, realize what is happening here. As you can see in this uh, study that I have published, I have published, not me, sorry, I have shared, um, the oxygen molecule, you know, oxygen molecule, there are two atoms of oxygen, oxygen at 60 gigahertz they start spinning. They have they're having different properties than what is normally. And we're talking the oxygen at the at the ground level, eh? not only on the air high, high above, uh, on, let's say on the stratosphere, but even here on the ground level, as you can read in the study, uh, it starts spinning, as you can see here in the in the summary. And what's happening when uh, the molecule of the oxygen molecule starts spinning? The issue is that then it cannot be bonded with the iron on the hemoglobin protein that we have on the red blood cell. And you know, the hemoglobin is bounding with the oxygen and then it's transferred through our body. If it cannot bound, if it cannot grab the oxygen molecule, then our body does not have oxygen to feed for the energy, okay, to feed uh, our tissues and our cells. And then we're going to have having issues like a stroke, like heart attack. Eh? What is heart attack? When the coronary artery is blocked, it's blocking blood from going there and the muscle in that part of the heart is, uh, is uh, dying. Why? Because there's no oxygen. This is what is the important. The oxygen that's passing through the heart, through the muscles, uh, that's keeping it alive. The same with the stroke. If it's blocked, that part of the brain, then there is no uh, blood, then we have the stroke. It's one of the issues. If uh, the blockage is not on the, on the, let's say, on the brain or on the muscle, on the heart muscle, it can be on the legs. It can be you can have stroke or heart attack, no heart attack, but muscle attack in, on the leg or on the arm or wherever it may be the clot, wherever it may be the the shortage of oxygen. I'm not going to use now the scientific and the medical terms. Those that uh, they are uh, familiar with that, they know what I'm talking about. And the rest, I don't want to confuse them with scientific uh, terms and uh, sound, uh, I don't know, uh, whatever. I just try to put it in a simple words for everybody to understand. So this is the big issue with the 6 gigahertz. When they are operating in that frequencies, then we're going to have problems breathing. Dyspneas, okay, respiratory issues. You will see people, if they will hit them with that, uh, if they hit the, the frequency, the beam, uh, to that person in the specific area where he is, in that direction, in that direction, okay, first of all, going to be hit it from the energy, can have issues, plus he's going to have respiratory issues because of the air that he's breathing over there. But it's not only the air, the oxygen that's happening. In any range, even with the Wi-Fi router, which is 2.4, much, much lower than 60 gigahertz, we don't have this issue with the oxygen, but we do have issues with the biological effects of the radiation of the, this kind of frequencies. And they are not saying this one, but everyone, who, anyone who's going to read a little bit about bio, ele electromagnetic frequency and biology is aware that these frequencies they do have issues on our body okay currently i'm reading this book the magnetobiology uh, it's from a russian scientist who has done an extremely documented and detailed uh, study and uh, some other books as well related to the effects of uh, electromagnetic frequency on the body and it's this range of frequencies it's harmful for us even the low levels of energy. It's nothing to do with the thermal effect that they have done study only for the thermal effect. Thermal effect is one thing, but it's the other effects of the electromagnetic frequencies. Imagine what is happening to the water in the microwave, okay? Microwaves, this range of frequencies. They start boiling. Imagine what's happening to you. We are 70% to 80% under normal circumstances of water. Imagine what happened to our body even this small variation of uh, temperature, that temperature, the more variations of the effects that it has the microwave when they are hitting our cells and our uh, water molecules and our cells and everything. And it's not only the frequency, it's as well the way that the data is, trans is transmitted, the way that they are hitting us, the data is hitting us, this uh, uh, waveform. So, for example, if you remember the fax machines, eh, those that are in my generation or uh, older, that uh, the sound of the fax machine 
it was changing the frequency, the, the, yeah, the frequency, or if you have a, an acoustic meter, a, a radio electromagnetic frequency, you know, meter with uh, audio acoustic, then you will hear the da 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 So it's the rate that is hitting us. That it's not consistent. So even if a low energy, if it's low energy, the millivolts are not high. This way, this way that is hitting us, da da, like that. This has even worse effects on us, on our biology. <laughs> so it's unbelievable how how many attacks they have designed some willingly some without knowing without realizing focusing only on the, on the benefits of the technology and uh, transferring more data shorter it benefits nothing it doesn't affect it doesn't affect really the economy it will affect the the ai communication and in extent potentially the economy but who is benefit from the economy it's not benefit uh, the everyday the, the average uh, uh, persons and the consum and the consumers the fact that they're gonna download a little bit faster the uh, video streaming or some other things a little bit faster doesn't make big uh, change in, in our economy in our pocket the opposite <laughs> so okay I don't want to go further away and further uh, detailed on that but uh, uh, I just wanted to highlight the fact or to inform you what is happening with the 6 gigahertz uh, when uh, it's hitting the oxygen, the air, and then what's happening in our body. And of course, as I mentioned, okay, we have all the range of frequencies, this uh, high level, okay, um, high frequencies, uh, microwave, uh, millimeter waves, which is the gigahertz, then we have the terahertz. Don't, uh, I'm sorry, I'm uh, going from one topic to another, but uh, don't think that we don't have uh, the you don't have in your place uh, 5G, especially if you are in the cities. Okay, you may not have it on uh, on the mobile phone yet, but you have it on the street lights, and uh, now it's coming the 6G as well. Uh, probably it's already 6G in China, uh, 7G it's already in uh, in India, and uh, 7G does not require even antenna, so it's our bodies the antenna, in combination of DNA and as well the nano that we have inside us. And this is the other topic, uh, combination of frequencies and nano, this is really a deadly combination and can be proven deadly as it has been proven in several cases. Um, because those nanos are acting as well, first of all they are activated from uh, the frequencies, the program, and they are acting as well as an antenna sharing information uh, back to the other receivers, <laughs> okay, whoever wants to know. So it's important uh, to protect ourselves from uh, uh, frequencies. It's important to start removing the nano because we are loaded with nano from the air that we breathe, from the food that we are eating, uh, from the supplements and the medication that uh, maybe people are taking, uh, the clothes that we are wearing. Everywhere they have invented nanotechnology which is coming inside our body and is not going away as they may want you to believe. If you don't shut down their program, if you don't remove them with uh, using several protocols, different protocols, but you need to remove them from your body, to burn them and remove them from your body, otherwise it's uh, going to be a long and suffering death. You may not suffering yet, but this it's a matter of time, real time. When will be activated, when we will reach the saturation level that they will be activated. And then, believe me, it will gonna be a painful time. I have not experienced it yet, but I, I have uh, I'm in contact with some uh, target individuals where they suffering from that. So I'm listening. I'm uh, experience from others, and I'm sharing this one uh, experience of others, and uh, I'm taking measures to not to reach that point. At least not because of the nano. Okay. They may found other ways, uh, but uh, at least not from the nano. Uh, I'm doing my part uh, to remove them out from my body and as well to protect uh, myself from the uh, frequencies to the degree that I can. And always they adapt. I have to adapt in the same. I will recommend for every one of you. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, I want to finish with this uh, with a positive note uh, that uh, yes, we are in a war. 
but uh, we have ways to fight back and protect ourselves. Uh, you should not feel uh, desperate, you should not paralyze from fear. Uh, we should do, uh, if you're going to be upset, we should transform this energy to solution, uh, to motivate us to find the solutions and, uh, and uh, protect ourselves, inform others and uh, share this information so more they can uh, understand what's going on and take measures to protect themselves. Okay, thank you very much and uh, have a good day.